if there was one takeaway on today's video that would be very crucial um, it's really hard to argue that it's not the most important really piece of advice or just point on today's video it's very important um, look at these socks are they not the coolest thing you've ever seen look at them <laughs> they've got turtles on them how cool how cool is that how cool is it just look at it turtles on the socks both of them both socks lovely turtles and who doesn't like turtles turtles have done nothing to hurt anybody actually babies do carry salmonella so i guess or if you get a hold of a snapping turtle it can tear your arm off but other than those two scenarios turtles are practically harmless they're so cute and they're just you know they're turtles all right what's up guys so so i'm having for breakfast i just got up ran two miles um i did it in 1601 which is five seconds off of my goal but in the last i started working out three weeks ago and i know i'm a little late to the party on documenting everything but um Three weeks ago, I was running in like almost 17 and a half minutes. So I've taken a minute and a half off of my two mile run. And of course, an, over three weeks. So it's pretty good if I can keep that pace up, but it's gonna get harder the faster it gets. But this is my breakfast. This right here has turkey sausage in it, spinach, mozzarella. It has, there. there is four total eggs and probably a cup of egg whites. It's 80 grams of protein-ish. Um, and then this right here is a high protein piece of bread with 100% maple syrup on it. Um, and it's also French toast. So I'll put some, uh, some cinnamon. It's a delicious, so I'm gonna eat this after a two mile run. In future videos, I will show you how to make this. If you're interested, if you like eggs and spinach, turkey sausage and cheese. It's so good. My daughter makes fun of me because she's like, dad, why do you make an omelet and then fry eggs and then cut those fried eggs up and put those eggs on top? And I was like, when you're at a Mexican restaurant, why do you eat cheese and cheese dip and then order a cheese enchilada? It's the same thing. So, there's different ways to cook eggs and when you combine the two, it's scrumptious. And I always save the toast for last because the toast is like a little, I got a sweet tooth. And um, I have sweet cravings. It is uh, very good. So I save it for last. It's kind of like my dessert. So if you're wanting to get in shape, <clears throat> if you're wanting to get in shape, and this right here is a cup of almond milk. I freaking love almond milk. Almond milk is, to me, was well, better for you than regular milk. It has just as much calcium, just as much protein, what like a third of the calories and way less sugar it's kind of a no-brainer really um when i first tried almond milk i wasn't real too sure about it but now it's like i really like it i will say if you want to switch your diet up and you want to lose weight whatever you're doing you have to enjoy it if you wake up every day dreading the crap that you're going to eat you will fail 100 percent you gotta find something that's sustainable. And I love eggs, love spinach. I love this whole meal. So this is something, son loves eggs. Oh really, why didn't you eat any this morning? After I asked you, he wanted donuts. I was like, oh, that's great. He's five, he can eat donuts and get away with it. Anyways, <clears throat> gotta find something you like. I used to try diets and try starving myself and eating stuff I didn't like. I failed every time. I could do it for like a month 
But after a month, went right back down, right back down the rabbit hole. So find healthy things that you like. Make sure you eat your protein in if you're working out. I'll document the rest of this day, but I just wanted to catch you up on kind of what I eat for breakfast. This is just one of my many, one of my breakfasts. Most of them, pretty much every breakfast has to do with either eggs or oatmeal. We'll see how the rest of the day goes. So this is one of my, one of my favorite snacks. Take regular peanut butter, just to compare these two. This is a powdered peanut butter, PB2. This is regular peanut butter, just regular Jif peanut butter. Two tablespoons of, of this peanut butter. Two tablespoons of this peanut butter is 190 calories, seven grams of protein. Two tablespoons of this, 60 calories, six grams of protein. And uh, the f way less fat, way less fat. And this just has 16 grams of fat. This has like point one or 1.5. <clears throat> so this has less carbohydrates. This one doesn't taste quite as good, but I'm gonna show you something I do that <clears throat> it makes it taste pretty good. But I could eat three times the amount of this, because this is 60 calories. I could eat six tablespoons of this to two tablespoons of this and get 36 grams of protein compared to seven grams of protein, same amount of calories, little choices like that really make a difference. So I'm gonna show you how to mix it up, put it on my little treat, and then we're gonna go work out. All right, so this is pretty simple. Add some water. Take this, and basically you just continue to mix this up until it's the consistency that you want it. I like my peanut butter maybe like a little bit thinner than regular peanut butter. It's easier to spread. So I'll take that. This is just a rice cake. It's a chocolate rice cake. Just take that, just like that. Give it a nice good little spread. There you go. Yep, not bad. Sometimes I'll add dark chocolate chips to it if I'm getting frisky. But uh, yeah, it's a good low calorie, high protein snack. Now I'm gonna go work out. See you guys there. What's up guys? We're doing our first workout on the channel and uh, we're gonna start, it's gonna be a mirrored workout. We're gonna start with 50 push-ups. 10 burpees, 40 sit-ups, 10 burpees, 30 lunges, 10 burpees, 20 pull-ups, 10 burpees. We're gonna work our way back. I'm gonna see how fast I can do it if I don't <laughs> try not to kill myself. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get right into it. All right, 10 freaking burpees in between everything. Okay. All right, 40, 50 push-ups. 50 push-ups. Diamond push-ups. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
With no belt on. One, two, I'm freaking hard to get cut. Probably on one of these edges. Yeah. Twenty pull-ups. I got twenty pull-ups, and we're done. Twenty pull-ups, ten burpees, then you're done. Yeah, ten more burpees. Yeah. Oh, this ain't easy. That was a heck of a workout. Um, took me like 45 minutes to finish it. Um, it was a doozy. It was a doozy. Uh, I can definitely feel it. I'm gonna go home, get some protein, eat some food, take a shower, and uh, enjoy my rest of my evening. And uh, I'll see if I can uh, fill you guys in on my uh, next meal. So, uh, very good, very successful workout. Glad I got it done. Ran two miles a day and I got that in. So, it's been a great day. All right, so, just got home, got a shower. Now we're uh, ready to eat some food. I'm gonna cook one of my favorite meals. It's uh, chicken parmesan with green beans and chickpea pasta. I'm gonna show you the whole recipe. Here we go. Put some of this breadcrumbs right here in a bowl. I don't like to eat this a whole lot, but I do I do crave it. Here's some garlic salt. Some garlic salt in there. Breadcrumbs. Scrambled eggs. Chicken breast. Now we're gonna dip this in there. Then there. I'm gonna spray this with some olive oil spray. Keep them from burning. Here, flip that over and there. Same thing, flip it over and there. I have some chickpea pasta. It's pretty simple. Boil water, put this in the boiled water. And uh, I really like this on top of it. It's a uh, 80 calories for half a cup. I mean, it's pretty good stuff. Um, there's not really many sugars, so it's good stuff. I'm also gonna be using this to put on top of the chicken. And then green beans are gonna be cooked in this. And if you want a good tip on green beans, you cook them on high until all the liquid's gone. Put a little garlic salt. Olive oil. We'll mix this up. You kick those on high until basically the liquid's gone, and they are a one. Right, so this is good and ready to flip. Right, keep that from burning. Go back in here, everybody. This is Christine. She has strep throat. Yep. <laughs> she was up all night last night. A roiling boil. 
And that's when you drop these tuckers in here. They're coming out in the home stretch. They're looking good. Getting pretty low on liquid. Turn them off. Seven in the back. They're gonna still cook. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're going to add this on top of this. And I don't really go sparingly. You can put however much you want, basically as much as you possibly can, until it falls off. And then, got some Italian style cheese. It's got mozzarella, provolone, Parmesan, Romano. I don't know how to say that. I don't know how to say Asiago. I don't know, it's delicious. It is delicious. And literally put, I know, you're, I know what you're thinking, Zach. That's a lot of cheese. Yeah, well, it is. I just had a workout where I burned a thousand calories, so I'm gonna put a little extra cheese on here. That's where this goes, the chickpea pasta. Literally take this and just pour it in there. But you can put as much of that in there as you'd like. Now all we're waiting on is the chicken to finish up, and once the chicken gets finished up, I'll make a plate, and then we'll go from there. Well, <clears throat> here's the plate. The green beans, um, have Parmesan. If you've never put in Parmesan on your green beans, you may check it out. It's pretty good. Um, this is chickpea pasta, green beans. That's a pretty big piece. That's a pretty big piece of chicken. <laughs> I don't know if I'll eat all this, but we'll give it a shot. Um, this is like, I'm literally like super, super looking forward to this. Oh my gosh, look at this theme. It's fresh, it's hot. That's really good. That's so good. Some green beans. I don't know what the garlic salt and the Parmesan does to the green beans other than make them delicious, but man, they're so good. This chicken, if I don't eat it all, I will reheat it. I love I mean, absolutely love this chicken. This is literally one of my favorite ways to cook chicken. And it is. Let's see if I can capture the steam. It's hot. I'm so hungry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat it. My wife always gives me a tag. <laughs> hard time because when I get my food it's like if I do get it and it's like you can tell it's extremely hot it just came out of the air fryer at 380 degrees and I'm like oh wow that's hot I'll stick it in my mouth and try to keep eating it and she's like yeah <laughs> it is hot yeah it just came out of the oven um, so I'm sure other people do that but I'm like I just want to eat them this looks so good I hate you hate I hate eating cold food so, I'd, I'd much rather eat it scorching hot. Whew. So, I'm gonna eat and uh, really enjoy all this nutrients going to my body. That was a good workout. I had a really good day. And so, if it's kind of weird vlogging my exercise and my diet on the channel, I'm, uh, I'm used to throwing discs. And so this is a new scenery. I don't know. It's different when you're filming yourself cooking and eating versus and working out versus throwing discs. So bear with me. And um, if I eat another snack before bed tonight, I'll let you know what it is. See you in a minute. The other night I was experimenting and I made this smoothie. Um, I'm gonna have to show you guys the smoothie. It's kind of a pain in the butt, as far as like I hate cleaning the blender out, but I'm gonna make a smoothie enough to fill up a couple extra cups, keep them in the freezer, so that way I have multiple nights worth of smoothies. But I've had these three nights in a row. We're gonna whip this sucker up, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do it. And I would highly, rec I would highly recommend trying this, because it is delicious and it's healthy. So, we're gonna get straight into it. First thing we're gonna start with is some ice. Ah! 
I got some old-fashioned oats right here. I'm gonna do a half a cup. Maybe like just a little dash of this mixed nuts. There's some almonds in there, some cashews, some cashews, pistachios, almonds, a little mixture in there. So nine dark, dark chocolate chips, nine of them is exactly what we need, but we're gonna double it, so we're gonna get 18 in there. That was exactly 18, I don't know how I did that. Got some honey, doing basically a couple tablespoons. That may be slightly more, but that's okay. We're gonna do a lid. A lid of vanilla extract. Maybe a little dash more. Okay. Do a tablespoon, I know this is a heaping tablespoon of this powdered peanut butter. Now this is where I actually will add some real peanut butter. Like a pretty good scoop. I know that's a lot, but we're going in with it. And a full banana. Okay. And then ISO 100 vanilla. Two scoops of protein powder. There's one. And now we top it off with some almond milk. Isn't that the like coolest sound you've ever heard in your life? I know that's a lot. But this will last me like a week. So calm down. I know there was a lot of ingredients in it. But basically. You just fill up your cup like so. Just like that. Take this. Doop. I know I said this was healthy. I was comparing it to like ice cream with Oreos or shakes or other things. Yeah, there's a lot of sugar in this. You got bananas. You got dark chocolate chips, you got honey, but oh my gosh, it is seriously so good. If you like bananas and peanut butter, it's honestly like a must try. It is so good. I know there's a lot of ingredients in it. Some of the stuff you could probably go without. Mm, it is so good. If I could wrap up today, especially ending the day with this, one, I'm blessed. I'm blessed to be able to live in America, even though times are crazy sometimes, but to get to get up, go run, go work out, hang out with my family. And then in the night like this, thank you Jesus. But uh, yeah, if I could wrap it all up in like a couple little things, I'd say it was a good food, good workout, a good day. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I wanna thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like always, until I catch you in the next one, go in peace and be blessed.